It's Tuesday morning and today I want to work on adding elemental weapons to my game. But first I'm gonna start off the day with some breakfast. Usually I don't make eggs on camera because you guys always let me know I'm very bad at it. But I really want eggs today so I'm just gonna make it anyway. Please don't roast me. Since it's Easter break, I don't have any classes this week, but I still have a math assignment I need to work on, but when I've put in a few hours on it, I should have plenty of time for game development afterwards. So I just finished up the first task on the assignment, had some lunch, and now let's get to work. Yesterday, on Monday, I started working on a weapon enchantment system that will allow you to enchant your weapons with fire, ice or lightning. It functions fairly well and now I need to make some particle effects for the different enchantments. So fire weapons should get flames around them, ice weapons should get ice, and so on. But before I start working on that, I just noticed Noah, aka Blackthorn Prod, just made some fan art for my game. He's got some amazing videos and is one of the inspirations for me when even starting this channel, so go check him out, there is a link in the description down below. So let's make some particle effects. First off, we need to make some fire. I've used Unity's particle system quite a bit, but I wasn't quite sure how to do this, so... I found a great tutorial on how to achieve the effect I was looking for. If you want to see the tutorial for yourself, there is a link in the description down below, and you should definitely go check it out. I've been working a bit on the effect now and tweaked it so it fits the style and sword, and here is the result. And I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Now we need to make the other particle effects. I need one for ice, one for lightning, and possibly some more in the future, but for now we're gonna stick to the basics. So let's start off with ice first. I'm still going to be using Unity's built-in particle system to make this ice effect. The particle system is just super versatile and nice, and if you haven't tried it then you definitely should, and you can make pretty much any effect with it. I'm pretty much done with the ice effect now, and here you can see the ice sword in-game. Now let's do the lightning sword. I wanted to have sort of lightning strikes shooting around the sword, and we can achieve this effect using something called ribbon trails. This is also built into Unity's particle system, and here you can see the results. So we're done with the particle effects now, we need to actually implement them as well. So let's do some coding. I'm done with the coding part now and it's very simple to use. So if we want to enchant a weapon, we just use the enchant method, give it an enchantment type and the sword should be enchanted. Here you can see the result in action, all of the enchantments are now working. Due to how I've implemented this, we could technically enchant a weapon several times, so let's give it a go. And there we go, we now have a sword which is enchanted with fire, lightning and ice at the same time. Looks kinda cool actually. I've also made it so when you enchant your weapon, it will deal 20% more damage. Now what I want to do is give them some sort of impact effect, because currently it looks a bit lame when you hit someone with a fire sword and there is no fire effect. They should also probably have some debuff effect when you hit enemies, uh, but I think I'll work on that a bit later. Like for example, the ice sword should slow enemies down, the lightning sword should maybe shock the enemies, uh, and the fire sword should burn the enemies. But before we work on the impact effects, I'm gonna go make some dinner because I'm getting pretty hungry now. So I just finished dinner, now let's work on the impact effects. So I've made this little fire impact effect here using the particle system, now we need to make it show whenever we hit someone. So I've done the implementation now and here it is in action. Looks pretty fire. But now I'm gonna go spend some time replying to emails and comments before heading off to the gym. I've pretty much replied to everyone now and I'm gonna go meet up with my friend so we can get some workout done and hopefully finish the impact effect when I get home. I just got home from the gym, ate some food and had a quick shower and I've just slightly been working on the ice impact effect. You can see it in action here, I'm pretty happy with the little snow particles coming out of it, looks kinda nice and chilly. Now let's do the lightning as well. 
I'm still using the ribbon trail effect that comes with the particle system to make the lightning strikes and then I've put some damping on the velocity over time to achieve this cool looking lightning shock effect. So I just finished up all of the implementation, now let's put it to the test. It seems to work fine with all of the different enchantments, it will now spawn an impact effect depending on what enchantment you have on your sword. But now it's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna go brush my teeth and hit the sack. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then consider subscribing and hitting that like button, if you didn't then smash this like button. And I will catch you guys in the next one.